Edward here from the Crypto Viewing Group. Quick plug for my teammates. At the Crypto Viewing Group, I will have the link below. Check us out. We do tons of work, just tons of it. And I'm very uh, proud of, of the team, and I am happy to be a part of it. Check it out. Inspiration continues to fire through my neurons, and when inspiration calls, you better answer the door. So I wanted to uh, do some more exploratory work as I'm continuing my exploration into the medulla oblongata. And so I had to do this session. I had to acquire an input that had the qualities that would give me some confirmation that an actual remote viewing is taking place. An actual remote viewing did take place, uh, which kicked in the, the next part of the experiment, which was to uh, backtrack the experience uh, via the, as a term that I came up with several years ago, input residue through this specific part of the brain that I'm feeling more and more is in the medulla oblongata to the areas that I'm terming the selector mechanism and the attractor mechanism. And uh, let's, let's just go into this as I describe the mission statement here. This is an <coughs> experiment. Sorry about, sorry about that. 7313. And what I want to experience is the attractor mechanism. The attractor attractor mechanism attractor mechanism selector selector okay first I need to make sure that I have acquired the inputs then I'll trace it back I should be able to trace back this goes back to input residue if you're interested in, in um, input residue is a term that I came up with several years ago. If you look back through my videos, probably 2015, 2016, uh, where uh, I, um, I was doing some experimental work to, uh, with, the, with what I term the input residue. There should be, there is. There is some degree of radioactive residue in the cells, possibly the cells, in the medulla, oblongata, from the arrival slash stimulation from the stimulation of the arrival of the input via the selector mechanism and the attractor mechanism. Now I need to I have a range of time and space here. I want to acquire it 
and it's that radiation that I want to experience and decode and then go and explore and then trace back through the residue to the attractor slash selector. Okay, what is this? Seven? All right, that is the mission statement. This is the range of time and space, AKA the target, uh, an outdoor scene. So that's what I'm three one three. What round. I need to make sure that I've acquired flat, big, open, long outside this is an idea of carrying uh, outside standing standing I get I'm getting people here people and there's something here that's long. Um, more than one. People outside. People outside. Um, people, 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 people. Uh, yeah, I'm hearing sounds, voices, uh, even, even rhythmic, even rhythmic sounds. There's movement, uh, bouncing. There's like noise in the air and stuff like that. People. Okay, that, that, I think that's enough. Okay, so I, I can, it, all the qualities are there, that the input has been acquired, and now the real work begins. That's enough for that. People standing. People standing. People standing. Now trace back, go to the residue, trace it back. There's like a, a small, and this is the, the brain stem. The medulla. This is what I'm perceiving. There's like a spot. Small. Spot. Very small. Very small spot. We're calling it a spot, but generic term a little area or a um, small area I don't know small area this is like a
Autonomic. feel like I'm in a very primitive part of my brain. Very primitive part. Conscious processing. Part of the unconscious. There's, there's a lot going on in the brainstem. I had no idea. This is a very unusual. This is a very unusual part of the brain. It's like a... Um, uh, like a uh, small gland type or or a, a lymph um, or a lymph node but that doesn't see that doesn't seem correct but something like that like uh, How are the the um, the glia cell? Oh, this is a great part of the brain. There's a whole world in there. This is a really, really, really active part of the brain. What are these get assigned? Assigned. Interesting part of the brain. Very active. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that is what happened. So after this session, I had to go and do some more research on the medulla oblongata. So, to try to get an idea of what I'm experiencing here and what I'm experiencing here when this is taking place. I found this interesting video and I was kind of half listening to it. But when this chart came up, I paused it and I started looking through these and it was this one here. These are all parts of the gray matter of the, of the medulla oblongata. The solitary nucleus. Solitary nucleus. Integrates and relays visceral sensory information to autonomic processing 
centers. Okay, visceral is defined being or arising from impulse or sudden emotion rather than from thought or deliberation. Synonym instinctive. I'm on to something here. Why then I wondered what they call it solitary nucleus. So if I break it up and I look at the words SOL SOL is uh, a word that represents a solar deity of ancient Roman religion. That's a definition of it. The Latin word sol for sun. It represents the sun. More origin, I didn't continue to research into some of the other meanings of the, of the word as it's put together. And the lit part of it, a simple past tense or past particle of light, of light. Light is radiation. The sun is radiation. So does the solitary nucleus, then, did they call it this because out of some intuitive inspiration that it represents the light of the sun is that what what it is i feel i'm very close to something here and that um this may be an area. This is what I was experiencing. Where the input may be acquired, or it is then sent um, to various centers of the autonomic processing realms where it begins to be processed and decoded and then sent to other areas of the brain. The solitary nucleus and the medulla oblongata. This is what I'm going to look into next. Are the, the glia cells that are uh, specific to the medulla oblongata, but this is this is where I was have been taken, right here. This is where I have been taken. The solitary nucleus. Okay. Uh, I'm just in my happy place. In my happy place. And I hope you find this interesting. Many more to come.